Hey Junior Titans, Coach Focek here with Coach Will. Last week we were talking about the art of the jump shot, how you put together a jump shot. Now we want to start putting that into play. So if you look at the court I have here in my backyard, it's cut up into squares. And what I want to focus on is shooting jump shots in different zones or different areas of the court. For the younger girls, those entering into third grade, fourth grade, even fifth grade, we want you to be staying in the lower part of the court, so in the blocks, on the short corners of the court, and in the middle of the court. And for you older girls, the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders who have more extension and more reach and more power on their jump shot, then you can move more into the elbows and three-point shots. So what I want you to do on the court you practice on is find those areas, whether you take some chalk and you make some circles on the court, on the blocks and on the wings and in the middle, we want to work on those zones. So the way my court is set up with different squares, what we like to do is make a shot in a square, get your rebound and go to another square. So I'm just going to show you about a minute of that drill and what it might look like and then you can take it onto your own court with your squares. So I would just start with a quick spin to myself, making a jump shot and then Will's rebound and I'm just going to find another one and then keep moving. Keep moving to different spots. You always got your hands up, your feet are moving and you just keep going. If you have a rebounder, you get your own shot, keep going. So that's how the drill works. You can do it with a parent or you can do it with a friend rebounding for you and then you'd switch. So now we'll see how Will does and I'll rebound for him. I would just add, if you're doing this by yourself, there isn't anything keeping you from just backspinning the ball and then going and getting your own and essentially passing to you. But I'll let Josh do it. If you notice, Josh is, Josh is stepping into his shot and I've got a little bit of a hybrid but a little bit of a hop going into mine. You're going to have to find what you're comfortable with and we'll take it from there. I think whatever you do, make sure you're on the bucket, make sure that follow through is perfectly connected to the rim, and we're gonna live with the result. There isn't anybody in history that made every single shot they ever took. Kids, I'd say when you do the drill, you have about one minute of shooting, and then you become a rebounder, so you get your heart rate going, you get in a nice rhythm, and then you guys switch. Good luck with the drills this week.